for example, you used to just have to declare them orally on the floor. You now have to submit them in writing. We've had some debate um, among our caucus, at least, of how do you uh, balance the requirements of the Constitution that require us to vote and potential or, um, and in most cases, um, it is about potential or actual conflicts of interest. And so we're balancing that people need to show up and, and vote because that is what we believe the Constitution says. And if you believe there's any potential conflict, you need to, uh, you know, you need to be transparent. We haven't honestly figured out how to resolve that. And I think we're trying to balance both the constitutional obligation to show up and vote and being transparent if there might be something potentially that could be a conflict of interest. As a citizen legislature, it's very challenging uh, to, to, to balance both. Um, is there any talk about doing it the other way around? I mean, like federal employees, for example, have a hatch act where you know they can't um, seek other sources of, of enrichment when they're public employees. I'm wondering if there are any any talk about limiting what lawmakers can do as public figures and as well, I would we are already restricted limited. now. <laughs> we are. We're, fun we're functionally, functionally restricted. We just sat through our ethics yeah. training. Yeah. We know right. we're limited, yeah. yes. But yeah. also we're functionally, as citizen legislatures, you know, it's hard to find a job where you can take five months off um, every other year and then five weeks off in the other year and, you know, once a quarter having to, it's it's pretty challenging. And it's, it, it's yeah, it, that's, it's, it's pretty, we, we have a lot of limits already. There have in the past, we just, there's no, we haven't figured out how to resolve that. So. Um, Representative Smith.